Hello all you vegans, carnivores, sports fans, and Rush fans. I've got a video for you. We're going to start off this video with this. It happens to be Frank's new video he just put up earlier today. But that's not what this video is about. This just happened to pop up while I was making the video, and it fits in. It's about Frankie's diet these days. Frank Tufano, that is. <laughs> and then we're going to hear from some really old longevity expert. That's the one thing he's got going for him is that he reached old age. Wait till you hear some other stuff, he says. Some of that you'll only hear in my last video I made a couple days ago. But first, we'll hear from Frankie, and then a reaction to Frankie, and then my reaction to all of them. What's up? How are you guys today? I have a few new things I've been incorporating into my diet from the grocery store. So I figured I would show you. As most of you know, I'm following a liver detox diet partially because of my eight years on carnivore, partially because I took Accutane when I was younger. Point is, we have a very restrictive diet. That's very interesting. Restrictiveness is part of what caused him to like, go on a keto diet. That was, that was fast though. Maybe carnivore, which is like no plants, no fiber and stuff like that. And carbs, cause problem, problem with carbs, of course. Well, look what he's eating now. Find something that I deem as minimally inflammatory. Oh, he's adding foods that are minimally inflammatory. Oh, you never hear that from carnivores. It's like, it's either inflammatory and carbs are inflammatory. But there's a big difference between something like wheat or oats and bananas, apples, dates. <laughs> the bagels are something I've been doing kind of every day with some butter from Frankie's Strange Meat. <laughs> really? Oh, that's surprising. This, it's just hitting me for the first time here. Well, I heard the part about the graham crackers, but it's just hitting me. He's eating wheat, which I say later in the video. I've already recorded that part. That wheat is one of the more problematic foods. <laughs> but this other stuff is more like in a pinch as it's non-perishable. And we'll start with those bagels. So, so why is he eating wheat? Near the end of the video, he talks about the priorities he's got for the diet he's choosing. Because what he's going for here, because apparently he's, he's, oh, well, he's against keto now, so he's off that. And against carnivore, too. So he has no specific diet, way of eating, you know, with certain macros. The priority is to go organic with everything. Make sure we're not choosing foods that are too high in anti-nutrients. Okay, now on to the next part of the video, where we get some ridiculous reaction from a course of carnivore. Goat testicles this is a testosterone boost. Haven't done this in about two weeks. So two weeks, man. You should at least be eating testicles once a day. Sounds like he just doesn't have any energy, guys. Sounds like he just needs some new batteries or something. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you need to eat more testicles. Maybe you'll feel better. Putting it in my bean dip. Or bean dip? Bean dip? You have our oats that I've been doing for breakfast, the organic steel cut oats. We have some extra fat. Now we probably know why Frank has no energy because he's eating oatmeal. <laughs> beef barley stew some sugar that i'll put in the oatmeal on occasion maple syrup honey these are the the new honeys that we have available on frankie's for <laughs> foods i'll put those in the in the oatmeal sometimes honey graham crackers there's some raisins back there Just okay now we got to take a break from the comedy because i got dr joel wallach who's going to talk about the dangers of oatmeal and wheat Frankie's eating both. I want you to talk about obesity. What causes it? Now, we people in my circles, we figured that out. White people are obese. Some people are obese. Some people can eat all they want. Be thin. Styrations. Well, what is obesity? Well, 40% of Americans are obese. 18% of those 40%, you know. Uh, that number seems a little high. The definition of obesity is somebody who is 25 pounds or more overweight, over their body weight. Never heard such a thing. The definition is 100 pounds. I remember the video I made in 2016 where I did research and found out. And nutritional deficiencies are the cause. Not a calorie deficiency, but a nutritional deficiency. When you're deficient... You catch that. That's very interesting what he said there. I agree with nutritional deficiency. I've been saying that for many years, but I don't say it's the cause. I have said for many years, there are many causes for 
overweight, but it often takes more than just one of those things to cause you to just put on pounds and get fat. I have some causes of why the body would store fat. I, I did have high stress level. Also, they say aerobics make you fat. <laughs> some people say that. I used to do a lot of aerobics on the bike. And of course, eating a lot is another thing. But then he said calorie deficit. Was that a misspeak? Pro probably. You would think so. You would think so. Actually, I have said that under eating, dieting is another thing that can cause weight gain. But I don't think that was what he was getting at. Doesn't seem like it. People develop a behavior called pica. You can, when people have pica, they just they'll eat six, eight, 10, 12, 15 meals a day because they're missing that nutrient. Their body's saying, you know, hey, hey, catch up here. You, you, you need to get this mineral. So eat more and find that mineral. That makes yeah. you hungry and causes you want to. Now that reminds me of me in the 90s. I may have had that. And I don't have it anymore from years and years and years of eating real food from nature, healthy food. Is, which are 98% minerals and 2 or 3% carbon and put them in their gardens for fertilizer. Boy, the plants in the oh. garden just flourish and suck up the mineral. He starts talking about wood being composted back into the soil. Out of the fireplace and put them into your food as a spice. But they also had the minerals in them. Well, when we went to electricity, 1882, suddenly now that all went away. So I pr prefer that people get a, a, one of our books. It's called Rare Earths for Cures. That would mean everyone has this pica thing, and they don't. And what about the 60% of people who aren't obese? Some who aren't even fat at all. There's two charts. One are the 60 essential minerals, you know, calcium and magnesium and zinc, all that kind of stuff. Post your comments below. Skipping ahead here. The bad minerals, lead and um uh, let's see mercury <laughs> is he gonna say calcium <laughs> no he's not one of those people is he uh you have to avoid the bad foods so you can absorb the good minerals the bad foods include gluten wheat butter and oats so you have to get rid of gluten your intestines should look like a shag rug with all the finger like villi yeah i sort of agree with this except for well almost everyone eats gluten and it's not a problem for everyone also it's a myth sort of common myth people think oats have gluten in it they do not they have a gluten like substance wheat and oatmeal are the two worst well, i got news for you um, i'm a big oatmeal eater well not meal but oats yeah this is oats right here dry oats in the mail lots of this stuff organic oats and this isn't something I started a few years ago. Started this right when I went vegan, 1994. Like a pound a day? Long live people, you eat notes. <laughs> you know? my, my mother, I won't tell you how old she is, but See, this Vogliano guy, he actually calls the doctor out on some of this stuff, he says. Good. She eats oatmeal every day. She's thin as a rail, she's energetic, and she doesn't have a huge appetite, but she eats three meals a day, but always has oatmeal. Should she, I'll tell you her age, at age 97, God well, 97, bless her. what I would do is have her cut the volume of her oatmeal, like in half, and kind of replace it with rice. One of my best buddies had some cardiac issues, and the cardiologist said to him, eat oatmeal every morning. What's going to happen to him? Is he going to get obese? What's going to happen is he's, in a period of six months, he will have killed all those villi in his small intestine. Killed the villi? They're alive? Well, it sounds like someone who doesn't know sh Hey, good guess. Good guess. What destroys your intestinal villi when you eat gluten is when you have celiac disease and you eat gluten, your immune system overreacts, triggering it to attack your villi. This does not happen unless you have celiac disease. And if you do have this condition, you will have symptoms. You will have problems that will cause you to go to a doctor. They know about this condition and they will diagnose it. So there's no reason to just stop eating gluten unless it's easy for you to do. You know, wheat is one of the troublesome foods. I do recommend trying to get off that, but not by going keto and fat, 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 fat. But by eating fruit meals and beans, buckwheat. 
and you should hear some other crazy stuff he said that can be found in my last video. This Joel Wallach guy is 84 years old and he looks it. Remember how Frank fans were saying I look 65? Well, I'll bet these are the same kind of people who this guy was referring to who said he looks an age much younger than he actually looks. Same people. And you're not going to believe what age they say he looks like. A specialty. It's a field of expertise, and it's beyond expertise because he's the best expert on the planet. Oh. <laughs> is you. This is a fitting discussion here that comes just a few days after a video I made about aging where I shaved. There was something really funny 